passed them to the constituents for them to be registered and also requested them to support him to retain the Echumaku Enyen SM seat. And that in the unlikely situation that former President Mahama becomes the next president, he, Atto Fawson, will be the finance minister. This tells you that even before we go to the polls to cast our ballot on 7 December 2020, our two forces phantom ambition is to become the Minister for Finance in the unlikely situation that Mahama wins the 2020 presidential elections. This has been the propeller and motivation of Atto forcing to the extent that even if it takes non indigenous of Ejumaku and Yenisiam to vote for him on killing, beating, and maiming people for him to achieve his selfish ambition, Atto forcing cares less. At the news conference organized by the NDC at the Jumaku Bisiansi on Thursday, they accused the transport minister, Kweko Furie Siyama, Lord Komi, the MPP candidate for the Jumaku Enyan Esiam constituency, Rashidi Chiafor, and other notable figures in the MPP of masterminding the disturbances at the registration center. But the Central Regional Secretary of the MPP at Friday's news conference at the Jumaku Bisiansi dismissed the allegations. We place on record that Mr. Lokome, the head of operations at the presidency, has never been in the central region since the 2020 voters regime exercise started, let alone to be in Ejumaku on the 5th of August 2020 to be part of any meeting to cause violence in Bisiasi. Also, the central regional chairman of the MPP, Mr. Robert Kuti Jr., was not in Ejumaku. Enyan Esiam Conference on Wednesday, 5th August 2020, and therefore could not be part of any alleged meeting in Ejumaku on that day. Also, there was no meeting between the Transport Minister, Honorable Koko Fure Siyama, the Central General Secretary, myself, Richie Techmesa, the MPP Central Re Re Regional Research and Legislation Officer, Mr. John Emro, and the MPP Parliamentary Candidate for Ejumaku Enyan Esiam, Dr. Rashid Kwesi Chiafo, and the DC for Ejumaku Enyan Esiam, Honorable Ransford Kwesi Nyaku on one side, and the Mankesim Division Police Command, ACP of Wahine, on the other. Gunshots were a feature in all the disturbances. Both the MPP and the NDC accused each other of gun wielding. The police in the central region are yet to make any arrest in this matter. They are sure they are investigating the matter. Richard Kwejenya Akon, Joy News, Cape Coast. Time now to do more business news. And Director of the National Board for Small Scale Industry, Kosi Yanke ISS, the amount government is injecting to revive Ghana's COVID 19 region business community is unprecedented. Taking her turn at uh, the business runway webinar series organized by the Enterprise Unit of Vodafone Ghana, she argued that contributions by government to the private sector so far exceeds the 600 million stimulus package. Joining thought leadership speakers at the Business Runway webinar organized by Vodafone Business, Director of the National Board for Small Scale Industries, Koshi Yanki, argued that the survival of businesses must not evolve around a stimulus package. There were three things that we were looking at measuring our success and the impact of our intervention on. One, how do you formalize an informal economy? And how do you digitalize an economy that has not really seen or benefited from the scale of digitalization the way they have? We've been able to achieve the formalization to some extent. There's some more to do. As Silicon's provide business solutions amid the pandemic, CEO of Vodafone Ghana, Patricia Bonai, stated that her outfit is not focused on profits, but rather tailor-made solutions for businesses. So we started looking at what relevant packages we could put available to them, internet bundles, even um, SMS bundles. For enterprises, it was important that they could communicate with their base. You know, 